I'm back. I had a great two weeks not flying through hurricanes with the hurricane hunters. Fortunately, there were no hurricanes when I was out there, but we still flew training missions and stayed prepared just in case something popped up. While I was gone, I had a lot of time to think and reflect on a lot of the business decisions that we've made in the last couple of years. And then I realized that we've never made a video about our biggest business failure. So I want to tell you that story, but since I just got back, I've got a lot of work to do. So we're going to work and talk. When we started our businesses, we didn't try to start a business. It just sort of fell into our laps. See, when we first started in our business, we were pretty naive. We thought that when you started a business, you just made something that you thought was cool and then offered it to the public to see if that's what they wanted too. For example, when we first started selling furniture to our friends, we just assumed the rest of the world would want some of our fabulous woodworking creations. So I sharpened my pencil and I designed the greatest woodworking product that the world has ever seen. I present to you the Farmhouse Writing Desk. You see, I built this table for a friend and we modified the design so that I could build the whole thing out of just two two by sixes and like four two by fours. Basically what that meant was that I could build these super fast, super cheap, and I could build them repeatedly. We could sell a whole lot of them very quickly. I was also gonna offer it in three color options because who doesn't want more choices, right? So we built a prototype, we took some photos of it, we got a brochure made, and I went all around the neighborhood and stuffed it in the door jam of every single neighbor that we had. We also spent about $1,000 on Instagram ads, just knowing that we would be swamped with pre-orders for these tables. So we were ready to launch on release day. We waited for the orders to roll in. One hour went by, six hours went by, a day went by, five days went by, a week went by, and we had zero orders. We had sold nothing. If you're wondering why I'm building another Uline cart, it's because of this. I overloaded it and it collapsed. Was this it? Was this all that we had? Did we blow our only chance? Did no one want to order what we had? Did we, were we not good at making stuff? Should, should we have just sold our tools and, and given up? No, I'm far too stubborn to admit defeat. Clearly, I was just not persuasive enough. If I could just get people to understand how great this table was, then they would want to buy it, right? So I ran to the local library and I checked out every sales book that the Minot Public Library had. Instead of learning how to hypnotize people into giving me cash, I learned something very different from those sales books. We learned a new business principle that totally changed the game for us and how we thought about running a business.
We took this principle with us down here to Houston when we started our businesses again for the second time. It was at this point we both got jobs with the Hurricane Hunters and we needed to live a little bit closer to the unit. So we moved down here to Houston knowing that our business was gonna be different this time. We started selling cutting and charcuterie boards as client gifts to other business owners. So these boards were personalized for the recipients, which made the recipients feel loved and valued and special, which ended up driving more business back to the business owner who gifted the cutting board. It's a win-win. For everybody. Within 18 months of this new business plan, we sold over $110,000 worth of product because we totally flipped our idea of what sales is. See, sales is helping. It's not convincing. Twelve seconds later. See, if we can help our customers solve a problem with our product, then they'll offer to buy it. There's no convincing needed. We have to be way more intentional than just making something that we think is cool. Because our biggest failure in business was building something that we thought was cool and hoping that other people would buy it. Instead, we learned that we needed to start with what the customer needed and then design the product to meet those needs. And when you get a reputation for starting to solve problems well for your customers, that's called building a brand. Then you can start to solve more problems with different new products, like kitchen tables, which has been our evil mastermind plan all along. And we'll talk about that next time. I do it, I just